is very clear that the president has got no plan to transform South Africa for the better. Nothing about international relations because that is a point of disagreement for this GNU. Nothing about the judiciary and nothing about the land. He can't concretely say this is the amount of hectares we are going to give to our people. A pure lie that he created 2 million jobs, which we have never seen as the people of South Africa. So we spoke to, he spoke to us in February. He comes, speaks to us on the same useless things that he's non-committal. If you look at that uh, parliament today, the happiest people is white people in that parliament. The happiest people is the DA because it's the biggest winner out of this uh, GNU sellout uh, government. President Ramaphosa has once more sold out South Africa like he did in 1994 when he did not attend Nelson Mandela's inauguration, which today he speaks very highly of him for opportunistic reasons. So we as the EFF are going to consolidate the progressive forces in this parliament and make sure that we hold this government accountable. We give this government just a year, and if it doesn't collapse within a year, it will not go beyond two years. We can guarantee South Africans a progressive government is coming in which will transform the land, nationalize the banks, and ensure that there is enough jobs for all our people and fight poverty. You have spoken about uh, beneficiation since 2017 when the ANC agreed to nationalize uh, the Reserve Bank and ensured that the people of South Africa benefit from the minerals of our country. It's not for the first time he speaks about beneficiation. He is he's not going to be a part of people who are going to initiate beneficiation in South Africa because exporting is to the benefit of his masters and therefore he will never support a beneficiation in, in the country. He's just speaking about it because he has been president for the past five years. He has been deputy president for the past 10 years. Why hasn't he beneficiated in South Africa. Today, he's telling us about a solar plant that has given us 250 megawatts. But just recently, we have just received 800 uh, megawatts from ESCOM. And why is he not speaking about what our own state uh, company is able to give us, but instead wants to promote the independent power producers at the expense uh, of uh, uh, ESCOM? So, you can see that the man that is not for the state the man is for the private sector the man is for multinational companies but what makes me happy is that you can see that is a wounded buffalo we told you south africa will eat this elephant piece by piece and you saw it for yourself today that confidence and that arrogance of february has gone through the window and today the man speaks like a man who has got no confidence and belief in what he's talking about. I won't be shocked tomorrow if I'm told that that speech was written by Helen Zille because the DA kept on clipping until the last full stop. It That's it for now, guys. And please tell us what you think about this on the comment section below. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more. And thank you so much for watching.